In the ruthless arena of China's electric vehicle, EV market, Xiaomi's YU7 has roared onto the scene, targeting Tesla's Model Y with ferocious ambition. Launched on June 26, 2025, this mid-size fastback SUV is Xiaomi's second EV, building on the success of its SU7 sedan. Priced to undercut competitors, the YU7 has sparked a wildfire of demand, overwhelming production and exposing the chaotic underbelly of China's EV boom. In this video, we dive into the YU7's features, its staggering market reception, the messy ordering process, and the challenges Xiaomi faces in meeting sky-high expectations as of July 2025. Here's the raw truth about the SUV rewriting the rules. YU7. Features and performance. The Xiaomi YU7 is a five-seat, mid-to-large SUV designed to challenge Tesla's Model Y, China's top-selling SUV in 2024. Available in three trims, Standard, Pro, and Max, the YU7 delivers strong performance. The Xiaomi SU7 comes in three distinct variants, each offering a different blend of performance and range. The standard model, priced at 35,360s, features a single motor rear wheel drive setup, delivering 235 kilowatts, 320 horsepower. It accelerates from zero to 62 miles per hour in 0.88 seconds and offers an impressive 516 miles of range based on the CLTC standard. The Pro version is priced at $38,700 and upgrades to a dual motor, all wheel drive system with 496 horsepower. This variant achieves zero to 62 miles per hour in just 4.27 seconds and provides a slightly lower range of 472 miles CLTC, trading a bit of distance for added performance and traction. At the top of the lineup is the Max model priced at $45,600. It boasts a powerful dual motor configuration, producing 508 kilowatts, 690 horsepower, allowing it to accelerate from zero to 62 miles per hour in a blistering 3.23 seconds. It shares the 472 mile CLTC range with the Pro, but adds a higher top speed of 157 miles per hour, making it the ultimate performance option in the SU7 lineup. The YU7's 800 volt system adds 385 miles of range in 15 minutes of charging. Powered by a 101.7 kilowatt hour ternary lithium battery in the max trim. Its interior features a panoramic display across the windscreen, smart door handles, and an electro shading sunroof that keeps the cabin cooler than the Model Y's. Double paned acoustic glass and noise cancellation ensure a quiet ride. The YU7 syncs with Xiaomi's ecosystem, letting devices like the Pad 7S Pro attached to rear seats for entertainment. Unlike Tesla's paid self-driving software, Xiaomi's driver assistance comes free, a bold move in a price-sensitive market. Its sleek design draws from luxury SUVs like the Ferrari Puro Sang, offering premium aesthetics at a budget price. Unprecedented demand. The YU7's launch was a shockwave. Within three minutes of orders opening on June 26, Xiaomi logged 200,000 pre-orders hitting 240,000 lock-in orders within 18 hours. By 72 hours, retail stores reported up to 315,900 lock-in orders, with a 75-80% conversion rate from showroom visitors. Most orders required a $700 refundable deposit, lock-in after seven days, or a $2,800 non-refundable priority delivery deposit. The standard trim at 35,360 is the top seller, chosen by 55% of buyers. Young urbanites, especially men aged 22-35, drive demand, with 60-70% to trading in older vehicles and 5-7% switching from SU7 reservations. Xiaomi's 351 EV showrooms, built on its smartphone retail model, fueled this surge, with 90% of visitors eyeing the YU7, ordering frenzy and scalper chaos. The YU7's ordering process is a mess of ambition and overload. Buyers could place a $700 refundable deposit, a $2,800 non-refundable priority deposit, now sold out, or order pre-configured units for one to five week delivery. But the demand crushed Xiaomi's systems. Scalpers swarm platforms like Xianyu, reselling order slots for $140 to $2,800 markups. 
leading Xiaomi to ban transfers and warn against unofficial deals. By July 4th, over 400 buyers filed complaints on Sina's Black Cat platform. Frustrated by the Xiaomi app showing wait times, 33 times in 56 weeks, only after order confirmation. Some fear a potential EV tax exemption ending in 2025 could hike costs for delayed deliveries, could hike costs for delayed deliveries, adding to the tension. Xiaomi's retail network with 351 stores has been a double-edged sword. Trained staff push the YU7's features, achieving conversion rates well above the industry's 20-30%. But the sold-out priority delivery and long wait list have sparked backlash, with buyers like 26-year-old Otto Shi, a former Model Y owner, torn between the YU7's value and delivery delays. Production struggles. Xiaomi's Beijing plants, F1 and F2, have a combined capacity of 300,000 vehicles annually. But the YU7's 240,000 plus lock-in orders have pushed production to the limit, with wait time stretching to 2027. The SU7, launched in March 2024, sold out for the year with 90,000 pre-orders in 24 hours and delivered 272,000 units by May 2025. Xiaomi has scaled monthly production from 4,000 units in March 2024, with wait time stretching to 2027, and bought land for a third plant for $88 million to boost capacity. CEO Lei Jun's scarcity-driven marketing has amplified hype but a fatal SU7 crash in March 2025 and criticism over misleading SU7 Ultra claims have raised quality concerns, casting a shadow over the YU7's rollout. Challenging Tesla and beyond, Xiaomi's CEO Lei Jun has taken direct aim at Tesla's Model Y, the top-selling electric SUV in China, with over 80,000 units sold each quarter. Xiaomi's newly launched SU7 priced $1,400 less than the Model Y's 36,760 base model, is being positioned as a game changer. It promises superior range, enhanced performance, and includes free advanced driver assistance features, giving consumers more value for their money. In a market where pricing and features heavily influence consumer choice, the SU7's aggressive entry is drawing significant attention. Tesla's dominance in China has already shown signs of strain, its market share has declined from 15% in 2020 to just 7.6% in early 2025. In response, Tesla has introduced 0% financing offers to stay competitive, but analysts suggest that further price cuts may be inevitable. Some even label the SU7 as a serious threat to Tesla's stronghold, particularly in the SUV segment, which remains the most popular category in China's booming EV market. What sets Xiaomi apart is its broader ecosystem and strategic vision. The company plans to open 10,000 My Home stores globally by 2030, a bold retail expansion that signals ambitions well beyond China. Industry insiders speculate that by 2027, Xiaomi could pose a significant international challenge to Tesla, especially in an emerging EV markets. With an attractive price point, competitive specs, and a growing global retail network, Xiaomi's SU7 is not just another EV. It's a calculated strike at Tesla's crown. The bigger picture. The YU7's success reflects China's EV dominance, but it's not without risks. China consumes 55% of global chips, yet relies heavily on imports, and US sanctions could disrupt Xiaomi's supply chain. Regulatory scrutiny on autonomous driving and quality issues, like the SU7 crash, loom large. The YU7's 200,000 orders in three minutes signal a shift in buyer loyalty, driven by value and nationalism. But Xiaomi must navigate production bottlenecks and buyer frustration to sustain momentum. The YU7 has redefined what a budget SUV can be, blending luxury aesthetics, cutting edge tech, and aggressive pricing. Its 315 to 900 orders in 72 hours mark it as a phenomenon. But Xiaomi's challenges production limits, scalper chaos, and quality concerns could derail its rise. If it delivers without compromising, the YU7 could reshape the EV landscape. For now, it's a bold challenge to Tesla, fueled by a young, ambitious buyer base demanding more for less. The question is whether Xiaomi can keep up or if the weight of its own success will crush it. Subscribe to our channel for more raw takes on the EV revolution. Hit the bell for updates and share your thoughts below. Can Xiaomi outpace Tesla? Keep the conversation charged.